And now, now for many companies, advertising budgets are the first to be slashed when the going gets tough. And that's been the picture across the world as some of the world's biggest marketing agencies have suffered huge cuts in revenues. But are businesses who go cut advertising in the short term storing up long-term problems? With us to talk about that is Emmanuel de Bejari, a partner with Paris-based marketing consultants Eki Metrics. Uh, now, their clients include Renault, Eurostar and Dior. Now, Emmanuel, firms like WTPP, the, the, the world's biggest advertiser, they haven't been doing very well in, in the crisis, in the financial crisis. Uh, has that drop in advertising been reflected here in France as well? Well, definitely. I think uh, the issue is not a drop in advertising in France. It's rather for companies to look at their advertising investments and to see if they can do more with, that, with less money or if they, if they can do the, the, the same. Uh, so they've started to put more pressure on the advertising company to have a, uh, to have a, a better return on, on investment and they're starting to, to wonder how we can do more without, with less money. Yes, that's the, the big question in, in, in Europe. And how exactly would they do that, Emmanuel? Are you talking about diversifying your, your advertising to get yourself online as well as on TV, for example? Or? Well, I, I think in, in the past year, before the, the crisis, many companies used to, to have a very strong budget in terms of, of marketing. So they, they invested in, in marketing, trying to do things and things, but they didn't measure the impact of these marketing actions. Now they're looking at the, the return investment of these marketing actions, and they see that there are some parts of it where they, it can be... A, rationalized where it can be uh, optimized so uh, all we do uh, for our, our customers is to look at all these parts of the marketing actions and say well this one seems to be more efficient on the short term this one seems to be more efficient on the long term depending on your strategy depending on the key moments in the year when, when you want to communicate what are the actions you should prefer and what's been working for you or what do you what do you find works for your clients and what hasn't worked well of course the the studio the situation depends very much on the company, on the, the industry you're working on. If you're working for Joe, for example, in, in the luxury section, you will, you will tend to have more long-term investments. So you will continue to invest a lot and lot. And we've seen that, for example, in the perfume industry, uh, where there are two main uh, points in the year, uh, Fête des Mers uh, and, and Christmas. Uh, they've even... Um, increase their investments to keep their market share because they know that if they don't invest they will lose their market share not only on the short term but on the very long term uh, in other industries uh, they've definitely uh, increased for example the internet which is a, a much cheaper uh, channel uh, at the expense for example of, of more mass media such as uh, tv or, or press let's get a snapshot from your company i mean how is Echometrics faring like like now we've we're one year down the line from the financial crisis well you, you mean our situation uh, yeah how, how is your company faring how, how is it going well your business yes well um our business uh, is trying to rationalize marketing investments, so with the crisis we definitely have uh, something to say to the companies we're working for because they, they want to know uh, what, what is the real impact of their, their marketing. Uh, so our company is doing, uh, is doing very well. Uh, the subject is really a, a key issue at the moment and uh, I guess it will continue to be a, a key issue after the crisis because companies will start to be able to invest more in marketing so they will have to know where they want to invest. Where are we now in the crisis? Do you think that it's going to be over soon or do you think it could get worse? Well, I, I'm, I, I'm not the one who can say if the crisis is, is finished uh, or not, but I think some clients are starting to think again uh, about investing more money, about um, taking the benefit of the, the, the of the all the the work they've done to rash, rationalize their uh, the marketing among other things uh, so I think we will uh, we will try to to help them uh, get out of this uh, of this crisis when we really feel that uh, it's getting out of it just talking about budgets Emmanuel of course it's one of the first things as Marcus said in his introduction that tends to go I mean at the risk of being provocative isn't it better for firms to cut their advertising budget than jobs well to be provocative in a way no because if you believe that advertising leads to more sales then more sales leads to more business for the for the companies and more business means more jobs as well so on the long term i would say what is important is to see what what works in terms of, of advertising cut what doesn't work and invest it somewhere else uh, maybe in, in price maybe in jobs as you say uh, if you feel the need to but uh, yeah 
We talk, you mentioned the internet. Of mm. course, we hear all the time the big players like Google and Yahoo stressing the importance of the advertising revenue. Are you saying to your clients, you really need to be looking at the internet as, as a way of getting your products known? Well, well, our clients have, haven't waited for us to start investigating the Internet channel. Uh, we've seen in the past year that the in Internet uh, within the, the channel mix has, uh, has grown a, a lot. Uh, but so far it has been used more for tactical uh, options rather than uh, strategic long-term uh, impact. So some of our clients are, are, are seeing that uh, it can be used also for more long-term impact and investigate, start to invest, investigate this. All right, uh, Emmanuel de Bejari from Echemetrics, thanks very much for coming in to talk to us here at France 24. Thanks also to OMFA Club.